Hey, we're back in my bedroom, <laughs> and you're just going to have to deal with the fan noise in the background, because it, for whatever reason, my room is the hottest room, and I don't have access to the back room today, due to uh, the person I live with uh, getting into mask painting. Anyway, today is exciting, because Magic released, I can't even get the whole box in frame. Jeez. Wait, how? I'm zoomed all the way out. But Magic released their Dungeons & Dragons crossover set, Adventures in the Forgotten Realms, and I am so excited. I already went ahead and cut a little slit in this shrink wrap so I can just go ahead and tear it off and not spend five minutes struggling. There we go, just like a blanket. So these have two, two parts to them. They have this box, really cool like dragon scales. I like that logo too really neat and oh wow okay so when did huh so right off the bat we have some oversized dungeon cards this is a new feature specifically for the set it's called delving into the dungeon <clears throat> basically you can go through and do entire dungeons we have a nice little poster featuring uh, Xanathar kind of wreaking havoc on the citizens of Waterdeep there uh, embark on a new quest. Got a blue dragon. We got uh, Eliwick Tumble something. I forget her name, but uh, she's a kind of a legendary fake elf Eladrin. I believe she's an Eladrin actually. But yeah, you guys can imagine my excitement with the set because I'm a huge D and D nerd, and of course we have this box for storage and whatnot. All right, so I'm gonna open up and look at take a look at the dungeons. I believe there's only a specific amount of dungeons, like only like five in total throughout the whole set, and I think they come. Everybody gets them at some point. Uh, so we have Dungeon of the Mad Mage. I actually have this book. You start at the Yawning Portal and you can go down. And you can choose what direction you want to go, and then you get to the Mad Wizard's Lair. We have the Lost Mine of Fandelver, which is a classic dungeon. Um, it's It came in the D&D 5th Edition starter set. It's a fantastic adventure. Really, really like it. And we have Tomb of Annihilation, one of the most brutal dungeons in the game. <laughs> Absolutely brutal. Cradle of the Death God. You basically have to stop the Lich of Sererak from bringing this atrophied dead god thing back to life also you have to end something called the death curse uh, there's several campaigns like live stream campaigns that have dealt with that let's go ahead and open this up inside got our hollow foil sort of I, what is this is this just artifacts I think this is just artifacts let me read the back of the over box a little bit yeah, three oversized dungeon cards, 20 traditional foil and regular basic lands. Oh, this is the alt art traditional foil uh, treasure chest card. It says that. <laughs> okay. Neat. Neat. You guys know I'm a dice goblin. I still have to do a video about my dice collection. But we have this oversized D20. Um, this... Oh, this, is this not a spin down? Where's the 20? There's the 20. This isn't a spin down. This is an actual D20 that you can use in D&D. Thank Christ. <laughs> Love that. Pretty, pretty big. We have... Um, what is this? Oh, just some, some rule cards and whatnot. You get those. Um... We get our 10 or so boosters featuring Driz Duerden and Guinevar. I don't know why my autofocus just won't work. And then we got our pack of uh, lands. And let's put the lid back on the box because we're not. We're, we're more or less done with it. Let's bust into some packs featuring 15 cards. A pop. Again, you can see Drizzt and Guinevar on the front there. And let's just tear open, tear into them. Now, I don't know uh, how Magic does their packs, so I'm just gonna go straight from the bottom. 
We have the Atropal, that's what you're trying to stop, and uh, Tomb of Annihilation. Oh, that's our token card. Oh, and on the back, there's a Tomb of Annihilation dungeon card. Sweet. Alright. Uh, let's just flip it over and see what's uh, going on. Compelled Duel, a great spell in D&D. Target creature gets plus three, plus three, and must be blocked. Okay, interesting. We have a Jaded Sellsword, Dragonborn, Shortcut Seeker, Human Rogue, Dawnbringer Cleric, Human Cleric, Fate's Reversal, return up to one target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Venture into the dungeon! That's what it is. You can enter the first room of the dungeon or advance to the next room. We have Sealed Herbalist, and there's a Lizard Folk Druid. Kick in the door! You come to a river. I love these cards. You choose one. Fight the current or find a crossing. I love... I just love the way that that's stated. Improvised weaponry. Always nice. A Baleful Beholder. Ooh. Really like the artwork on that card. Look at him. Artwork done by Lars Grant West. Great art. You happen on a glade. Journey on or make camp are your options there. We have a Battlecry Goblin. Ooh. A Tiefling Warlock. Faraday. Devil's Chosen. Dark One's Own Luck. That's a, that's a Tiefling thing. Whenever you roll one or more dice, Faraday Devil's Chosen gains flying and menace. Ooh. Love that. We have Hall of Storm Giants. If you don't know anything about Storm Giants, they actually live under the sea more or less. You would think they would live in the clouds, but yeah. And on the back we have a planes card. Alright! Pretty sweet for our first pack. No foils, but not gonna worry about that. We're gonna just move on to the next pack. And I opened it upside down, so we'll figure out what's our token card. On the back we have a goblin. Just a goblin. Ooh, and on the back we have Dungeon of the Mad Mage. Nice. So. Ooh, Circle of the Moon Druid. Nice, nice. We have Dragon's Fire. Clever Conjurer. Dwarf Old Champion. Deadly Dispute. A Ranger's Hawk. A Plundering Barbarian. Ooh, a Neverwinter Dryad. Feign Death, one of my favorite spells and also the name of one of my... Uh, Halloween EPs. I believe it was the last one that I released. You can stream that on Spotify and all other music platforms. Shameless plug. We have a Lightfoot Rogue. Ooh, whenever Lightfoot Rogue attacks, roll a d20. 1 to 9, gains death touch until end of turn. 10 to 19, gets plus 1 and death touch. Plus 20, or if you roll a nat 20, uh, it gets 30. Or <laughs> It gets plus three, plus zero, and gains first strike and death touch. It's really nasty. Ray of Frost, great cantrip, great cantrip. Uh, we have Ray of Enfeeblement, another just sort of nasty spell. Oh, ho, ho, my dog, we got the fucking frog, he myth. What a nasty motherfucker. Ooh, the Warlock class. Now, how do the class cards work? Ooh, and it's foil. Gain the next level as a sorcery to add to its ability. How does this work? I'm gonna have to do some reading on how that works. And on the back we have an island card. Okay. Because the warlock class is foil, I'm gonna give it a sleeve. I'm sleeving all foils again. And then the rest of the cards will probably just be put back into the boxes for storage. I wish Pokemon packs were this easy to open. God damn. So we have a skeleton on this one, and on the back we have Lost Mine of Fandelver. Another great dungeon. So we're gonna go ahead and just take off the land card. We got a forest there. Sepul Sepulchre Ghoul. Compe compelled Duel, once again, Jaded Cell Sword. Secret Door! A Potion of Healing. Delicious. Uh, tap one white and then tap this. Sacrifice potion healing, you gain three life. Delicious. Thieves' tools. You come to the Knoll camp, intimidate them. 
Um, we're fend them off. Ooh, we got the fucking first edition artwork, alternate arts, Underdark Basilisk. This rules. I love this artwork. I want to get more of these cards. Thank you. I'm going to put them in their own separate pile. You're ambushed on the road. Make a retreat or stand and fight. Another classic dilemma. Oh, we got a fucking owl bear boy. God, I love owl bears so much. Uh, we have a dragon's disciple. T Targnar Demon Fang Knoll. Absolutely disgusting. Let's get pa it's got pack tactics. If you attack with uh, creatures total power six or greater, you get <laughs> attacking creatures get plus one. Jeez. Ooh! Ooh! Kalane, reclusive painter, human elf bard, with the f cool uh, first edition monster manual artwork. Really like that. Oh my god. And then we have. We got Minsk? We got Minsk! If you guys don't know about Minsk, uh, play the Baldur's Gate games. And look, he even has this miniature giant space hamster Boo. Let me try to get him more in focus. There he is. He's so cute. We got mints, guys! Oh, I'm so excited about that. You know what? Minsk gets a sleeve and these two uh, alternate arts. Actually, I don't know if they're technically alt arts or not, but they're getting sleeves because they're fucking cool. So. I'm gonna go ahead and slide him right in there. Alright, next pack. We have another goblin on the back here. And we have another dungeon in the Mad Mage for that. And on the back of this, we have a mountain. Alright. We have Grim Bounty. Sylvan Shepherd, a human druid. Roll a d20. Ooh, ooh, you want you you'll want to roll an at 20 on this card for sure. Boots of Speed, baby. Contact other plane. Ooh, draw two, scry two, then draw two, scry three, then draw three. Those are pretty good. We got a plus two mace, boys. Classic weapon. Got a vampire spawn. Each opponent loses two life as soon as it enters the battlefield. For three mana? This seems pretty strong. Goblin Javelinier. Oh, we got a classic mimic. <laughs> Arborea Pegasus. A lurking roper. So, ropers are gross because they're, they, they, they disguise themselves as stalagmites in caves. So, like, when you walk past one, you won't notice. And then it's like, ooh, what's that? You got a tentacle. 4-5 for 3 mana seems pretty strong. So. But it doesn't untap during your untap step, so I guess that's fine. We got a Trickster's Talisman. Power Word Kill. Again, it's a, this is a ninth level spell. 2 mana to play. I don't know what the conversion here was. Ooh, and then we got... Y'all, we got the fucking classic gelatinous cube. Every adventurer's nightmare. And then we have a foil arcane investigator, elf wizard. Really fucking cool. That's three more cards to give sleeves. I feel like I sleeve more cards during magic than I do during Pokemons. Could be wrong though. Um, I guess the cards that I'll be pricing are the ones that I put sleeves on, so I'm still not quite privy to how magic works in terms of pricing. Oh, we didn't get a cool token card, we just got a Friday Night Magic advertisement. Oh, okay, we do get a token, it's a treasure. Delicious, and on the back we have a swamp, cool looking swamp. We got another potion of healing there, zombie ogre, plummet, earth cult elemental, very nasty monster. Ooh, that's another one you'll want to roll a d20 on. 
Each opponent sacrifices two permanents. Gross. Shortcut Seeker. The Gloom Stalker Ranger. Always nice. A Silver Raven. Sweet. A Spiked Pit Trap. Another classic D&D. Ooh, nasty. We got the Manticore. Oh man, I need to I need to use manticores more in my D and D games. We got leather armor, some basic armor. Equip zero. <laughs> Activate only once each turn. Has ward one. Whenever equipped creature becomes a target of a spell, counter it unless a player pays one. Oh, interesting. We got the wizard class. Oh, we got more armor. We, this time it's plate. We have a dungeon map. You can add colorless. Tap it, add colorless, or you could tap three and then this. Adventure into the dungeon, activate only as a sorcery. Oh, <gasps> y'all. We got a flump. We got a fucking flump. I love how it's classified actually as a jellyfish. I've. Ex the Mystic's first rule of dungeoneering trust a flump. These are the some of the only good monsters you'll find in the Underdark. And they're nice. They change colors depending on their emotions. <laughs> It's really cute. How many more packs do we have to go? I feel like I've been talking forever. Alright, we're halfway through. We have five more packs. So let's just grab this one. And get going. AFR dr draft archetypes. Oh! Okay, I'm gonna keep that for uh, later because it's another treasure token. We have some planes, looking like uh, the planes of the Sword Coast. We have another Sepulcher Ghoul, find the path. Swarming Goblins, that's scary. We have a Soul Knife Spy, Soul Knife Rogues are dope. Dawnbringer Cleric, Horde Robber, Ranger's Hawk, Clattering Skeletons, you find a cursed idol, smash it, lift the curse, or steal its eyes. We have a Direwolf Prowler. We have the Druid class. We have the Warlock class, once again, and ooh, baby! Full art Black Dragon, let's go. Oh my god, that artwork is so fucking cool. Jason A. Angle. Fucking nice work. Oh wait, this isn't full art, this is borderless. I'm dumb. Or maybe it is full art, I'm not sure. <laughs> but still, fucking awesome. And then Instrument of the Bards, Legendary Artifact. Nice, 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 nice. You know what? I'm gonna put this Black Dragon in a sleeve. And then we move on in the next pack. I hope you guys are liking this. Uh, if you do, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. What do we have on the back of the skeleton? Lost Mine of Vandelver once more. Uh, also, if you want to see more Magic the Gathering opening videos, let me know. I, I know I did Kaldheim and then this. I have some other bundle boxes on my Amazon wishlist I want to get at some point just to open those, even though they're not currently in the standard rotation. Uh, we have an Elter Guard Ranger, Armory Veteran, Charmed Sleep, Dwarfold Champion, Shambling Ghast, Inspiring Bard, Sweet. They did put Bardic Inspiration in the game. Get plus two, plus two, and the Song of Rescue Gain three life. Hell yeah, dude. You come to the Knoll Camp. Hobgoblin Captain. Ooh, we got the first edition Baleful Beholder card. Look at that, I like how the artwork spills out over the actual card text. Very cool. Ah, oh, this is so fucking cool. We have a Great Axe. Classic weapon. If you find some prisoners, you can either break their chains or interrogate them. Split the party, choose target player, return half the creatures they control to their hand, round it up. Don't. <laughs> That's really fucking good. Don't. Oh, bag of holding. Yes, everybody, every adventurer's favorite piece of equipment. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, we have a minion of the mighty, just a little kobold. I love kobolds. And then we have a forest. I forgot to take it off the back there at the beginning of the pack. So we're going to put this Baleful Beholder in the sleeve. Getting down to the wire. 
Getting down to a few more cards, a few more packs. Another one of these. Ooh, this time we have a spider token. Nice. On the back, swamp. All right. Swarming goblins. Air cult elemental. A planar ally. Ooh, it's an angel. Nice. You can venture into the dungeon with that. Fate's reversal. Scaled herbalist. Kick in the door. Steadfast paladin. A pixie guide in case you get lost in the Feywild. Arborea pegasus. Prosperous innkeeper. I love that they put a little halfling guy in the game. Very nice. Hunter's Mark. A very understated ranger ability. I kicked my tripod. Monk of the Open Hand. Night. Ooh, Flurry of Blows. That's a very good ability. Loyal Warhound. And then we have a Foil Plains card. And because it is a foil, even though it's a land, I will give it a tiny little sleeve. Penultimate pack. I'm looking for the Borderless Tiamat card. Or the alt art for Zeriel Archdevil of Avernus. Those are the two cards I'm looking for specifically. But since this whole set is sort of my jam, I'm, I, I'm happy with any of these. Minimus Containment. Precipitous Drop. Find the Path. Dragon's Fire. Bar the gate. You find the villain's lair, foil their scheme, or learn their secrets. You find a cursed idol. <gasps> Pixie Guide! With the monster manual art. Very cute. I really like it. That's getting sleeved. We have Rhyme Shield Frost Giant. Nice. Hama Pashar Ruin Seeker. Legendary creature. Room abilities of dungeons you own trigger an additional time. Oh shit. Rally Maneuver. You meet in a tavern. Oh, the classic D&D party meeting up in the tavern. A lot of people hate this kind of introduction. I personally love it. It all depends on, you know, just how you guys roleplay it. That's all it is. Grazalix Illithid Scholar. Oh, I love how it's not legendary creature Mind Flayer. It's a legendary creature Horror, which is very fitting. And then we got a swamp. So we're going to put this pixie guide in the sleeve and we have one last pack to open. Ooh, we have a Magic the Gathering secret lair advertisement with a fairy dragon token. Oh my god, that's really good art. Good job. Um, what is that name? Iris... Compilt. Very good. Very, very good art. Oh, wait, on the back, we got planes. No automobiles or trains, though. We got the Paladin's Shield. We have a Shambling Gas. Hill Giant Herd Gorger. A Valor Singer, a Tiefling Bard of the Valor College. Very nice. A Scion of Stygia. Gross. Never trust a Tiefling from Stygia. You hear something on watch. Rouse the party or set off traps. Devour intellect. I want. Is there an intellect devourer card? I really, I really hope there is. Ooh, wait. There's a quote from Nihilor from the Xanathar Guild. <laughs> I'll know what you know soon enough. Very, very good. We got a celestial unicorn. We have a Knoll Hunter. <gasps> yes, we have evolving wilds. These land cards that are based on the uh, first edition module cover arts. This is exactly what I want. This is one of the things I wanted aside from Tiamat and Zariel. Is w any of these dungeon module artwork cards. That's getting a sleeve for sure. We have an Intrepid Outlander. Fuck. We have the Barbarian class, which is fire, apparently. We have Dungeon Crawler. And we have Nadar, Selfless Paladin, Legendary Creature Dragon Knights to end things off. Woo! What a long video, but man, was it worth it. We got a lot of the cool uh, monster manual artworks. We have the Evolving Wilds. That's like one of the more popular cards that people are want in the set, I believe. We have that Black Dragon Borderless. You know what? I'll count this up. I'll count this. Oh, also, we got Minsk. Okay? We got Minsk. 
I'll count this up as a uh, as a success. D20. How will my next opening video go? Roll the 10. So it might not be that good next time. Well, thank you guys so very much for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this one, please consider subscribing. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye I'm gonna roll one more time. What are the chances that the people watching this will subscribe to my channel? Hey, it's a 12. That's not nothing. Mm -hmm.